Hello and welcome to Taco.io. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can create your own connectors for your IoT devices. Start by going to Devices and clicking Add Device. Select the network for your connector, and if there is no existing connector for your device, you can either add a custom connector for a particular device, or if you have many devices that you need to add, you can create your own connector. To do so, click Create Your Own Connector and then press Add Connector. Next, select the network for your connector and fill out all of the given fields. Enter the connector description and add a URL link to an image of the device. Complete the description, completion text, and device annotation. The completion text will appear after a user creates a new device with your connector, and you can provide a link to download a dashboard by going to your dashboard and copying the distribution link. Device parameters functions in the same way as configuration parameters for a single connector, and it allows the user to input a value for a given field. To make this input optional, choose to place it in the advanced section instead of the main section. Now add the parser for your connector and click Save. In my case, I am using one of the provided example scripts. Once you have completed your connector, you will have the option to make it public. You can do so by clicking the Public button and then Open a Ticket. To make a connector public, all fields must be completed or we will not approve it. However, we do not check the validity of the parser itself for your particular device, so it is up to you to ensure that it parses the payloads as intended from the given network. Now that my connector is complete, I can use it to create a connection between my device and TTN and I will be presented with the option to download a template from the dashboard I linked to earlier. Once I finish creating the device connector, I can check to see that it is working correctly by starting the Live Inspector to see if the payloads sent from my device to the server are being intercepted and added to my device's bucket. This is how you can create connectors for your IoT devices. For more information about creating your own connectors, visit our website and access our documentation. Thank you for watching.